Welcome, incomer. I hope you are being treated well. Goliath has always opened its doors to those who need shelter. But these are hard times, and war grows suspicions. As for me, I think the free people should work together in this war with the elves. Will I have trouble here? It will mostly be talk. People gossip about incomers. If you want the people here to trust you, then help them. Once they do, they will open their doors to you. You will have a place to stay, a chance to become one of us, and they will likely reward you for your trouble. We berserkers believe in second chances. It's your choice whether you take that chance or not. Teach me something. Sure. What do you think about your laws? Our laws bind us. They tell us who we are, how we interpret them. That is where we can do better. Death and exile shouldn't be the only sentences. There should be reward in repentance. Leniency could save us valuable people. The law should be abolished. Abolished? No. But they could be made more flexible. The bow that bends in the storm doesn't break. Just imagine, if we berserkers could enhance the cleric's energy weapons, or the outlaw's explosives with the power of mana, who could stop us then? Now, Angram would say that giving in to technology would destroy us. But I wonder whether holding on to the laws too tightly would do the same. After all, there were those who tried to stop using magic. They said it was against nature. Now magic is all that defends it. Whatever my thoughts, the laws we have now are the ones we must follow. Are there problems between the clans? Give any group a name and they'll use it as a cause for argument with others. But while there are always differences, we are all berserkers. Anyone who forgets that needs a swift reminder of their true allegiance. Then shut them up. Now you sound like Angram. You think we should use the law to silence anyone who thinks differently. I say they need to be convinced that our cause is best served if we work together. I've been saying that over and over, but it seems some people have stopped listening. Maybe they would listen to me. Perhaps. You could do me a favor and talk to Elder. He's been speaking out against the Eisen clan, but I'm not sure of the reason behind his anger. You will find him living with the other cultivators down in the cultivator house. I'd be grateful if you can find out the reason he's upset before this bad feeling escalates into something else. This could get you in trouble. Put it away or dispose of it. George said I passed the test. You have. I am impressed. Most people complete their tasks without thinking. You have shown insight. A rare quality that should be rewarded. As long as you prove to be honest in the future. Who are the Berserkers? They're everyone you've seen in this town. And anyone beyond who believes this world can be saved. Do you want to believe that? That there's a hope? We don't need gods or machines. That forest out there, that grew from wasteland in just 200 years, from seed to tree, we are a new beginning for all. What do you think about the clerics or the elves? What are we supposed to think? They're steeped in blood and governed by superstition. The clerics speak of God, but they worship their machines and never forget that their blessed religion gave birth to the Alps. Elix corrupts all it touches. Whatever you think of the outlaws, they make no excuses for their behavior. They are out for themselves, but they believe in mankind. How can you fight their guns with swords? Our magic is more than a match for their machines. Strength, belief, and mana will always overcome steel. It's persuading the weak-minded of that. We might know technology is a weakness, but its draw is pulling in recruits. Even now, 
I know there is someone here in Goliath spreading the lie of the machine. They are preaching that technology will be our salvation. This damned cleric must be found and stopped. About the cleric. I can find whoever is preaching here. You can, can you? What makes you think you can succeed? I know who's preaching for the clerics. Are you certain? I don't want to go making false accusations. I've met him, spoken to him. What miserable drones and traitors have I given shelter to that they will let this cleric live? He knows our laws, and the penalty for spreading false religion is death. Carry out that sentence. Kill that cleric. is turned from poison to nectar. One day, all Elix will come here, and Magalan will be free from its influence. Until then, we must contend with the danger here. The power released from Elix can make the shrine a hazardous place. Please, be careful here. The power of Elix. Tell me, who are you? You've not said what you're doing here. Something brought you here, didn't it? You were drawn to this place. I was an Alb, but I'm free from Elix now. Then you are an Alb no more. It is Elix that turns a man into an Alb. Without that poison, you are free to make your own choices. You have told me who you were. Now you, now we, will find out who you are. Please, understand, whatever feelings are new to you, Every person faces that same struggle. It is the struggle Magellan suffers from, too. She is dosed with Elix. She has it in her veins as you did. But Magellan does not suffer from temptation. You must feel the lure of Elix to your bones, the power it offers. Resist it. One sign of you giving in to the temptation of Elix, and I will be forced to report you. If this world gives in to Elix, it will consume us all. You're comfortable with an Alb living in Goliath? An Alb is a man who has become a slave to Elix. It seems to me that you have freed yourself. That makes you a rare individual. Still, you are wise to be wary. There are those here who would kill you if they learn your background. But. Though it is not one of our written laws, it is central to our beliefs, and to me, that we should give all those who want it a second chance. If you are prepared to leave your past behind, you should be given a chance. Are you willing to do this? I want to leave my past behind. That is good. Now, Angrim or Ragnar will happily chew your ear about the law. but. Everyone else will look to your actions. What do you do here other than give free advice? As Amrik said, our hope for Magellan is that all Elix shall become mana, that from mana Magellan will be reborn. From wasteland shall spring forest, for we are the healers of the world. So, the workers bring the Elix to us, and 
and we transmute it at the mana shrine. Well, that is supposed to be what happens, but people don't seem able to stick to their tasks. You say people aren't doing their tasks. Yes, the biggest problem we have is temptation. Elix corrupts people as it does the planet. Last week, five large pieces of Elix disappeared from the shrine before it could be transmuted, at the same time as Kral, one of our guards. What could the thief use it for? I don't know, but Elix is food only for machines. Feed it to the plants and they become tainted. Feed it to a man and it drives out his emotion. It can kill his soul. I think Kral is the thief, but thinking is uncertainty. The searches for him and the Elix have come up empty and I have no idea why he would take the Elix. Fine. I will find the Elix Thief. Good. I appreciate your help. As a guard in the Hooded Crows, Kral has free access to all areas here in Goliath. So, he may have taken refuge in Ragnar's stronghold. Or, he may have strayed further, if indeed he is the Thief. And that is yet to be proven. What do you do with the man? Our mana is everything. It is life itself. It is mana that allows us to do magic. No other faction of the free people can do that. The mana potions we make give us that ability. It makes our warriors stronger, more powerful than any of the Alms machines. But it doesn't just make us strong. It also makes the world blossom. Look around. All of this is the work of our world hearts. I've heard enough. Very well. How does mana help you cast magic? That we have yet to understand, though we do study it. Even now, Thorold the Pilgrim has withdrawn from Elix to study its mysteries in the hope we can grow stronger. Those who cast magic will tell you that while the Alps lose their emotions closing off their minds, mana opens the mind connects you and the world. That sounds dangerous. There are those who have lost themselves in the journey, but they are rare. It is the power of mana that is addictive, not the substance itself. You can see that in Goliath. We don't need mana like the Albs have to have their elix. And we use a lot less. Most of the elix we find is given to our seedlings. Mana puts our bodies and minds in harmony with the magic we use. For us, it is natural. The energy the Albs use in magic is torn from the world. It damages them, and it damages the world. So, how do you transform Elix? Transmute. We transmute Elix. We place the Elix in the Mana Shrine. There is something in this mountain, the way the rock was changed by the comet. As the elix passes through, it is changed, purified into mana. If you bring anything that has been altered by elix close to the shrine, you can feel it. What goods have you got? Sure. Will you trade me? Gladly.
You're new here, right? You're an incomer? Tell me, what do you think about our laws? Do you think they should be strict or just used as guidelines? Strict. Otherwise, why have them? It's time you had an education. Why are you asking me about laws? Well, you're not one of us. So, I'm surprised you know about our laws. Listen, can I ask you a favor? As an outsider, you're not bound by our laws. Not as much as a true berserker. Who are you? My name is Ornir. I'm one of the workers at the pit. We decommission forbidden technology here. Making Magalan safer one machine at a time. I came up with that. Not everyone understands what we do here, particularly incomers. But as Amrek said, technology is seduction. The easy path will lay us waste. And so, here we are, removing temptation from the weak-minded. What help do you need? I believe I saw someone in the pit. Then he escaped. He's sort of hanging around outside town, down that path near the gate. I think he's an outlaw. I'm only guessing. I think he must be after the equipment we throw down there into the pit. If it is really one, then he has to disappear. So, why don't you take care of it? I, well, I'm not allowed to leave here. I've got to do things. I'm a technical expert. Angram wouldn't want me to endanger myself. I mean, if he was a piece of technology, I'd be there. The Elix would be out. The law would be satisfied. But look, Angram's already watching. He hears I've been near an outlaw, I'm dead or exiled. What exactly do you want me to do? Kill him. The outlaw. I'd recommend you do it from a distance. Don't get close. I'm certain he's up to something. I will take care of the outlaw. Good. Great. Thanks. I saw him by the cliff outside the gate into Goliath. You know, below the pit. You should check around there. Quit messing around with that gizmo, will you? I'm looking to make a trade. And what brings you to me? I've heard you're the person to talk to when you need something hard to get hold of. Did Angrim send you? Look, I don't know where he gets these ideas about me. I'm not here from Angrim. I need to buy a laser weapon, the sort the clerics use. I got hold of one recently, but then Hakon spotted it and confiscated it. Do you know how I can get hold of another one? And if you can get me one, can you get me, say, three? Are you insane? I don't know this man. I've never met him. Keep your voice down. I'm sorry, stranger. I've no idea what you're talking about. Trade. Me. I'm a solid, honest berserker. I don't know who told you what, but get lost before you get me exiled, or worse. I'm going. I'm going. Well, there's a face I haven't seen before. Newcomer, aren't you? You have a problem with new faces? Problem? Me? Oh, I never have problems, only solutions. And I reckon we can solve problems for each other. What problems? Of the financial kind. The kind where I've got money I'm just looking to give away, and you have empty pockets to fill. I'm listening. I'll bet you look like the listening kind. Except maybe being impaled at the unmentionables with a hot, rusty poker. But, and I'm getting to the point, here's me, right? A loyal and honest berserker. Someone who knows what's right, what's legal, and what's not. Then, there's a newcomer like you. 
Well, any newcomer has the potential to make honest mistakes when it comes to legalities. And if you did, then I, as an honest berserker, could help put such mistakes right in a way that earns us both elixir. You want to trade illegal goods? Illegal here is legal there. Law is just a matter of geography, isn't it? So, if you were to get your hands on rare, legally questionable items, I could, being a loyal berserker, take that trouble off your hands. Rare items? Rare is where the Alexit is. You could spend your life dreaming of Alexit, or spend your Alexit living your dreams. Your choice. You're looking for rare items? I help people with problems. When someone discovers rare items that are legally questionable, I solve this problem without the need to take up the time of our busy official authorities. No fuss, no overstretching our legal authorities. It's much better for everyone. And all for the right price. I just do as any honest, loyal, law-abiding, practical berserker should do. About these rarities. Yes. Wanna buy some cleric's weapons? Are you crazy? That's way too hot for me to handle. You get caught with those and you can dig your own grave and a grave for anyone connected to you. My advice, you get rid of that stuff as fast as you can. And take this to help you remember. If anyone asks, I never heard of any weapons, right? What's the catch? Catch? What catch? You'll earn a handsome amount of elixir. Where's the catch in that? Do you take me for stupid? No, no. Stupid would only cause me trouble. Who wants stupid? Smart is what I need. Smart knows how to keep everyone happy. Smart knows how to keep the laws in perspective and turn a healthy profit. And I can see you're smart. Exactly what goods are you looking for? Me? I don't want anything. But I might know a few people in need of mature healing roots. Born the cultivator knows where they grow. And if you could persuade him to let you harvest them, then maybe I could persuade someone to give you elixir for them. And if I just give the roots to Born? You could, you could, but then Born's not gonna be as financially grateful as me. Do you need any other items? Well, there is something that needs acquiring and redistributing. You know the pain. Yes. Well, Yora, the guy in charge there, needs help collecting things with Alexit in them. And here's... So, how about you help collect that stuff for him, then accidentally lose it on the way back? You want me to bring you things with Elix in them? Well, truth be told, Yora really doesn't like that stuff. And I know people who love it. So, it would be winners all around. Any more rare items you're interested in? You've noticed the Mana Shrine, right? Big building in the middle of Golia? Yes. Well, it just so happens that building contains all the elix they use to... I'm telling you, elix can make profits appear out of nowhere. All you have to do is make it disappear from under Caldron's nose. Anything else you're looking for? Not right now. If anything comes up, I'll let you know. What's the rarest item you're looking for? Well, there is one thing, but it's a bit special. Tell me about it. Well, if you're sure, once we talk about this, you'll be committed. It's all about trust on this one. Just tell me. Well, you see, Ragnar, one of the big bosses here, 
has something of particular interest to me. A family heirloom. Eric Eisenfaust's sword. A family heirloom? Well, yes. Just not from my family. Not Ragnar's either. Who knows how he got the sword, but it wasn't legitimate. Trust me. Some say Eisenfaust was the real founder of the Berserkers. That he took Amrek's dreams and made them real. They say that 50 years ago, Eisenfaust destroyed an entire army of the cleric's fighting machines using just this sword. Load of Alt Hui, of course, but even so, with his name on the sword, it's almost priceless. Almost. I'll give you a reasonably sized stack of Alexit. I'll get you Eisenfaust's sword. Your skills, my needs. What a beautiful business we do together. But be careful, yeah? Ragnar's not gonna want to part with that sword willingly. I'll get it for you. Then your reward will be waiting for you. Can you get a hold of Alp Technology? Alp Tech is far, far too hot and Goliath, my friend. I'm a brave man, but no outlaw, no reaver. I mean, just the other day, I met a bounty hunter who was trying to track down an outlaw over something. Trust me, you want to stay away from that life and that merchandise. Teach me something. Yeah, sure, why not?